Got it. All right. Sent to a third party, the Google verse. Um, we're now streaming on the Google verse or whatever we call it. And that means we're live on Zoom. I'm gonna I'm gonna start recording. Wonderful. Okay. Um we'll get started. Um I'll share my screen. Yeah, please. I, I'll put in the chat. Tell us where you are coming from and what time it is. <laughs> and I'm gonna share my screen, which is here. Welcome everybody. Um, it's Friday night where I am. It's Friday evening for some of you. It's Friday, um, it's late Friday afternoon for some of you. It's early Saturday morning for some of you. It's extremely light, late Friday night for some of you. Anyway, wherever you are and whatever time it is, um, we really appreciate you being here. Welcome for um, another Friday night comics workshop. Let's see if I can get past this. There we go. This is the We Believe in Comics workshops here at the Sequential Artist workshop. We're a 501c3 nonprofit. We have online courses. We do a lot of other things, which sooner or later we'll start telling you about, but you can find our courses in our main page at learn.sawcomics.org. Um, some of the courses coming up, we have some digital tricks with Donna Dracunas, uh, Hidden History of Comics, freelancing, all sorts of things. You can find that at learn.sawcomics.org. Next week in this slot, we have Glynis Fox, Drawing to Discover Your World. That's next Friday at this exact same time. Um, Hyena Hell, uh, she's one of Saw's favorites and she's teaching, a, she's doing a group mentoring that's gonna be ongoing and it starts up this this week. So there's still a chance to get on on that. Um, Jess Rolofson and I have been doing a podcast that we wanna share with you. Just Google or search for the Terrible Anvil in your podcast app and hopefully you can find it. The whole premise about that is making comics and not feeling bad while you're doing it. So you can tell us if we're helping or not. We're actually up to episode four now. Um, Saw survives from tuitions and donations. Thank you so much if you've um, donated to help keep these Friday night comics free. Um, there's other ways to support us through Patreon, uh, PayPal, and other ways. You can also become a sustaining member. There's lots of ways you can find that on, on our website too. Thank you. Um, so please tonight, no inappropriate speech or imagery. Keep it PG-13 when you're sharing. Uh, and share on social media, hashtag Friday Night Comics. You can tag us at Comics Workshop. I'll put Sarah's um, at symbol thing in the chat. I think it's sarah.baron, but we'll put that in the chat so you can see it. Um, and you can also share at members.sawcomics.org. You can find us there. And uh, oh yeah, we're doing these weekly PDFs of some of the stuff we do. So like last week's looked like that and you can find it. I'll put that in the chat as well. We've just been letting people upload super fast and, and we've been making a really quick PDF. It's been fun. So enjoy tonight. Sarah, you are, I was saying you are our first, I'm pretty sure our first Oscar nominee we've ever had here. Wow. And we're so excited. Oh, wait, look at that. We're so excited for Draw Your Pet as a character. It's so beautiful. Um, I'm going to stop sharing if I can figure it out. And I'm so, uh, there we go. Yay, Sarah, I'm so glad you're here. Um, oh, yeah, it's good to be here. I'm going to also spotlight you, which sometimes makes Makes people uncomfortable. There we go. Um, okay. Wait, did I? Yeah, there you are. Um, so yeah, so so welcome. This is the Friday nights, and and um, I'm gonna. I'll just stay low and and chat and and like I said, summarize what you're saying, and you can just guide us through whatever workshop you have planned for us. Okay, it's so nice to um, see. You. So I'm gonna share my screen, uh, and also if I can figure out how to do it. Um, I'm here for any anything you need. Okay. I'm being slow. Uh, I guess. Um. Oops. Oh yeah. I have. Uh. I should do enter full screen, right? Um. Oh yeah. There we go. This is actually based on. Speaking of drawing pets, this is based on uh Wallace the bird. Um. This drawing. Uh. And um. So just to give you a quick introduction. Um. This is actually this is a poster from Robot Dreams. Um. It features animal characters and and one actually two robots. Um. I draw mostly animal characters. Um. I think they're a lot of fun. Uh. Actually, but this one isn't based on my pet. But um. Now I have a dog, Sweet Pea, and I, I I'm crazy about her. So she figures in uh, to a lot of my stories. Um. She helps me pay the rent. Uh. By modeling for me. 
Uh, so here's a, um, a quick example of a picture book. And there is Sweet Pea and me and our pencil having an adventure together um, in the story. Oops, there's the story. Uh, so in the story, we are making a story with our friend, the pencil, and um, and sort of in the beginning or kind of towards the middle, um, we have a disagreement and Sweet Pea accidentally breaks the pencil. So there's Sweet Pea. And then in the end, um, there's actually there's a couple photos as well where we kind of like come out of the book world and into the real world and um Mick Millen was kind enough to take um these really great photos of Sweet Pea uh in my studio and Sweet Pea didn't bite anybody which was amazing um and uh so now she's uh also helping me pay my rent by being in a graphic novel series where she's a detective um because she loves to smell things uh like many dogs um, and I needed characters and, uh, I discovered it was so easy to make her a character in my pencil and me that, um, I would make more pets as characters. So, uh, uh, I asked my friends to tell me about their pets and, um, these are the neighbor's dogs. Um, their names are, uh, Jasper and Callie in real life, but I changed them to Casper and Jelly. Uh, and then my friend Dasha's dog, um, Nargis, uh, so, uh, and then there's like back matter in the book, a um, little bit of back matter. So this is my reference, uh, or there's like a little page about how I came up with all the characters. So um, there's a photo, uh, this is my agent's mom's dog, Pico. Uh, and she told me Pico's really lazy. So there were, you know, all you gotta do is ask your friends for personalities and you have like a whole cast of characters, personalities, you know, about their pets. So um, yeah, and uh, Colleen Venable's rabbit tuck is in there, if anybody knows Colleen Venable. Um, Okay, so today uh, we're going to start by, um, I figured we'd make, uh, actually, with the help of Tom, I figured we'd start with a list. So these are, this is my list of observations that you can make about your pet to get started. Um, how long do you think? A couple minutes, Tom? For part one, yeah, maybe three minutes. And we should also say, if if no one has, if you don't have pets, maybe a pet you had once or somebody else's pet. Yeah. <laughs> Because there are going to be petless people. Okay, everybody knows a pet. Yeah, <laughs> everybody knows a pet. <laughs> a fish, yeah, a fish, a horse, a chicken. Actually, this morning, um, my neighbor was gardening in his front yard with his chicken, which I thought was really nice. Sophia, she was helping. Was gardening with her chicken. Yeah, she, Sophia usually lives in the backyard. Okay, so, so I. Put, yeah. Okay, so I put uh, for part one. A few of your pets' personality traits. I'm going to put mine in the chat. You're welcome to put things in the chat too, people, or else you can put it in a, in a notebook or something. Um, but my cat is a is an angry huntress. I think I spelled huntress right. Judith is wondering where Sarah lives. Sarah. Oh, I live in Chicago right? now. Although I spent, I was in Brooklyn for a long time, so it's uh, five or six o'clock here. What else is my cat? My cat refuses to be a grown up. <laughs> like she should have, she should have like gone from kitten to like quiet, surly grown up cat by now, but she still hasn't. She's still like scratching and stuff like that. Judith uh, says people have pet chickens in Chicago. Oh yeah. Backyard chickens. It's like a big thing. Yeah. They, apparently it, I mean, I think you have to get a certain breed, but they taught, you know, it's was sub zero and they were fine. They live outside. Wow. Yeah. They're pretty, they're hardy. Um, and while people finish that up, I am going to connect my phone for the next part, which is my okay. second camera. All right. We've already, AI has already taken off your raised hand. Ah, oh, okay. Should I raise it again? I mean, we'll, it's, we'll just go through the, the cycle where it keeps doing it. Um, okay. <laughs> it's okay. It never Spend works. And the whole half hour, or the whole hour and a half doing it, I guess. Raising my hand. Uh, so a few of your pet's personality traits. So keep going. We'll do that for another minute, I guess, while you get your phone on. And then, and then we'll okay. go on to part two, right? Yeah. Somebody says, my cats are the feline versions of Pinky and the Brain. Uh, okay, so how Steven can says, I... What? How can I... I guess I'll unshare my screen for a second, and then I have a... Let's see. 
I'll see if the other Sarah has emerged yet. Have you signed on yet? I think so. Um, oh, wait. So oh, yeah, you have. I, I, I um, can see the other Sarah. So the other Sarah is now co-host as well. Oh, okay. Um, and, oh, man, where am I? I do not know how to raise my hand on my phone. Um, I guess I'm on the screen, too. Oh, here I am. Oh, I'm not. I can uh, spotlight that one if you'd like. Um, let me figure out. Why did I? Let me figure out how to. Sorry for the little bit. Uh, did you spotlight me? I disappeared. Oh, weirdly, I can't, but I think maybe you don't have your video on, and that's why I can't do it yet. Oh, wait. Yeah, now you do. Hang on. I can spotlight that one. Okay. There oh, we go. Well, okay. My chin. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and what? There's no terrible feedback, um, which is good. And... Oh, look at that. We love seeing drawing spaces, so this is great. Okay. So go back, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. All right. So I'll sit at my inbox. Okay. So, uh, okay. So as if, if everybody's done, um, making their list, uh, so here is my, Oh, let's see. Can I share my screen? Yeah. Okay. Here's my slideshow. So, okay. So we're gonna make a four panel comic, um, which is pretty easy. And we have what, 20 minutes to do it? 15? Yeah. Can we look back at the first list? Cause I don't, I don't know if people only did part one or if. So oh, this is the list of observations about your pet. And then for the four panel comic, if anybody wants to take a screenshot or something, like, yeah, or however you want to do it. Um, can you see the, my list of yeah, my option one, unsatisfied pet. Yeah. Uh, and option two, Valentine's comic. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so my, uh, so if you need, so, you know, whatever, I, my ideas for your four panel comic about your pet were, I think if this number one is if you have a cat who is probably unsatisfied. Um, and number <laughs> two is a dog who loves you so much that they want to give you a present. Um, so option one for the four panels, uh, there'd be uh, one is to show your pet is not getting what it wants for you from you. Um, two is to show how it tries and fails to communicate this to you. Three is to show how it manages to get what it wants without you. And four is to show how that works out for everybody. Um, and option two, if you, you know, whatever, if you have a, a pet who's, you know, wants to give you a present, uh, which could be a cat or any whatever, a rabbit or whoever. I know Alice has a rabbit. Um, uh, it, uh, panel one is show what your Oh, show your pet. Oh, sorry. So there's a typo. Show your pet getting you a Valentine's Day present um, or buying you or making you a Valentine's Day. Maybe show your pet making you a Valentine's Day present. Um, two is show your pet delivering this gift. Three is show how your pet feels about it. And four is show how you feel about it. Um, should I leave that up or should I unshare? Um, you know what? I, I've i got it. So I'm going to I'm going to um, type it in the chat. But okay. can you so can you go back one screen? Because I want to see what option three was there on the list. Oh, your pet's favorite thing to do. Okay, hold on. Oh, sorry, Your... sorry. Okay. That's what you meant. Yeah. And then, okay. okay. Now, we're... yeah, just for a second. But okay. I'm also going to put that in the, in okay. the chat. Uh, show. <laughs> sorry. Oh, that's okay. Um. And we have like 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Is that what our schedule is? Yeah, let's say five minutes per panel is usually pretty good. So, um, okay. so I guess pick a pick one of the four panel comic ideas, everybody, and we'll we'll keep the timer on. It's 14 minutes after, so so we'll um, we'll do panel one until about 19 after, and then we'll we'll talk about starting to go to panel two and all that stuff, et cetera. Uh, sorry, okay, so we'll do a panel by panel. Okay, cool. And are, you're going to be the timekeeper, right? You're going to be the timekeeper? Yes. Okay, then I'm going to go- Are you going to drop? I'm going to go to my other location, and um, which is over here. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing this screen, but I will be putting it in okay. the chat. Oh, you're going to unshare. Okay, I can do uh, that. Uh, stop sharing. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Okay, great. I'll keep it in as people. 
Um, do you know which one are you doing? Are you doing the Valentine one? Oh, or me? The, uh... I'm, oh, I'm, I mean, my dog, she's a dog, so she's always satisfied. Um, so she would be getting me a present. <laughs> okay. And this is a little bit inspired by robot dreams, right? Because the dog in that gets lonely. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And orders a robot. Not to... Oh, orders a robot, yes. <laughs> okay, and then I'm typing option two. Getting you a Valentine's Day. Oh, man. Yeah, I can't imagine my cat doing that. Yeah, well, your cat is a good deal. Especially if your cat, you said your cat is like a teenager, right? Yeah. Not good. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's the issue. Um. And panel four. Okay, everybody, so there are the options in the chat for either the Valentine comic or the unsatisfied pet comic. Um, lots of misspellings in my chat, but that's because I was typing fast, so hopefully that's okay. And we've got two more minutes for panel one. Look at Sarah. With... So this is the, oh, so your dog is going to make you something. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I know you said you might not want to talk and draw at the same oh, time. Oh, that's okay. Uh, yeah, it's actually, I can do that. Oh, okay. All right. So I love that you have, um, you actually have pictures of you drawing your dog in your book about your dog. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking, there were those, there was this Japanese comic that I used to really like that, um, Ronzi Aranzo, I don't know if you remember that, but they have like a mix of drawn panels and photographed panels and like sort of puppet yeah. panels. And so I, yeah, I wanted to put a photo in there. What was that called? It was uh, this Japanese comic called Aranzi Aranzo in the oh, 90s or like early 2000s. I and I'm gonna put it that. in here and I'm sure people are gonna correct my spelling. I'm gonna look at that. I've, I I love- was, uh, Here, I'll, I'll look at it. Uh, let me see. I love comics with photos, and so I'm really. Oh, and and somebody says there was a oh, lot yeah. of cute merch. Somebody, yeah, so much cute merch. <laughs> and I think actually somebody told me there was an airport in Japan that was painted with the characters. That was oh. like that was the theme of the airport. Yeah. Un. Anyway, I'm just getting started. Unsatisfied. Huntress. Show that your pet is not getting what it wants from you. Did I spell Aranzi Aranzo correctly? Yeah, I think so. Oh, wow, great. I'm going to go look for it. Yeah. Oh, nice. And look at the Sarah will love. Sarah will love these cookies I'm making for her. I put in all the best ingredients. You're doing great on time, Sarah. You're right at the five minute mark too. Ooh, I have to confess, I was nervous, so I wrote an outline. I don't know if that's cheating. <laughs> it's okay, that happens a lot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's got cat poop in it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. The best is subjective. Pizza crust sounds good.
All right, on to panel two. Yeah. Top two. Oh, panel two, we're on panel two, okay. Yeah, that's good. All right, Nikki needs a reminder. So Nikki, I'm gonna put it right here in the chat. So panel two for Sarah, this will be your pet delivering this gift. I love that panel three is your how your pet feels about it. <laughs> so, well, anyway, we'll just one step at a time. You draw many cats, Sarah? I know you're really a dog person. Um, sometimes I do. I mean, yeah, I've been making a lot of cat art, actually. Oh, well, yeah, you're doing ceramics and stuff, right? Yeah, for friends with cats. I have a lot of cat, cat friends. Cat fan friends, I guess. Oh, what's this dog going to be saying? Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. You know, I forgot Valentine's Day is coming up. I guess well, the dog's name better than I do. Yeah, I guess it should be Valentine's Day, right? What? what? It should be Valentine's Day, right? <laughs> if, she, if your pet is making a presence or a present, giving a present. <laughs> oh, I'm already feeling bad for this dog because you don't seem. <laughs> or does it have a happy ending? It's gonna have a happy ending. It's gonna have a happy ending. Okay. Well, I mean, so let's see. Sarah, are you technically one of the nominees for this Oscar or are you sort of not? Because it's the movie. The movie is the nominee. So I, I would that. actually like get the prize or like get the little statue. So who would the producers? 
I don't know, actually. I'll let you know if it happens. Okay. <laughs> you got to beat out Miyazaki though, right? And Pixar. Oh, yeah. And Spider-Man. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> or I could someone out, right? I get it that way. Okay, so now we're moving on to panel three. Your timing is exactly where we want to be. Let's see. Panel three, starting at. Oh, I'm telling Eli, Eli missed the beginning. Eli, Sarah's uh, book from 10 or 15 years ago called Robot Dreams was turned into a movie and it was nominated for best, best animated feature. <laughs> it's amazing. And so that was this year just, and so, right. Yeah. So actually Eli's mentioning Nimona. That's the other one you're up against. That's so you're up against oh, all yeah. the big, you're up against Ghibli, Pixar, Netflix, Marvel, and then you, so I think you've got a chance. Oh, thanks. <laughs> to the voters' ears. Oh no, the poor dog is so sad in that panel. Oh my gosh. I'm still on panel two, but anyway, we're on panel three, everybody. And you, were you involved at all on the animation? Were you like at least an email um, contact? I just, I did a little bit of concept art in the beginning. Um, and then uh, that was really it. And then I corresponded with him and I like sent him stuff. Um, we were a little bit like pen pals, I guess, um, while they were working on it. And I visited the studio, but that was all I did at the beginning. I think I'm too slow. I think actually maybe I, I think maybe the, um, I felt a little bit like the, um, concept art was a test and I was too slow and he was he would be like can't you change that can't you add more and I'd be like it's on paper and he would like my animators they could do it and I was like what I don't know. <laughs> so you weren't pushed out of the process yeah but... yeah I think I was I think it's for the best though I think it's fine <laughs> it's a, he did such an amazing job in my opinion oh nice somebody has a copy of the book when it that they got at the mighty book there. Will they do a movie version of the book? Like wait, that wait, sometimes wait. well, like uh I've seen it with other animations where like it's based on a manga, but then the then there's a like a movie version of the book that's more like the art from the book and maybe the story is a little different and stuff like that. Oh kind of crazy. Oh my god, I'm totally dating myself, but I remember Greece. Greece the Greece movie had that when I was a kid. That's a, like the photo novels, yeah. Yes, yeah, they're photo novels, yeah. All right, so you are showing how your pet feels about it, and I am showing how it manages to get what it wants without us. Oh, that's... Oh, that poor dog. You don't like it?
post a link to your book. That book's been through a few printings. Yeah, it's been, they've kept it in print. Okay, we're almost on to panel four. We're, we're, we're working at your pace, actually. This is a really good pace. You don't like it? They smell great, but I'm just so full right now. <laughs> how about, all right, we're on to panel four. Let's see how we do. We're on to panel four, okay. Well, not to rush you, but it looks like you're on panel four. So I'm just telling, I'm just reposting what panel four is for people. All right. <laughs> I like on the unsatisfied pet one that the instruction is show how that worked out for everybody. <laughs> it just it sounds so uh it sounds like expecting things not to work out, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh pessimistic. <laughs> yeah, pessimistic. That was the word I was looking for. I've got my cat drilling a hole in the side of the wall oh, to get nice. more mice. Yeah. How long did it take for this movie to get like made from Wait, from option? Yeah, I mean, even from optioning. Like, when did they first contact you? Because sometimes these take forever, right? Um, maybe 2018, and then there was the pandemic, uh -huh. which kind of I think was good for animation, right? Because people could keep working, right? So 2018, they contacted you. And here it is, 20, 20. Yeah, it came out in 2023, yeah. So it took about five years. That's pretty fast, I think. Yeah, I think it was pretty, I mean, that's a long, but it took me, you know, we got a lot of time, so slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's a great last panel tracy in the chat says robot dreams was our favorite bedtime book my kids couldn't get enough 
Isn't that awesome? Oh, nice. Well, I hope they like the movie. The, the, I think the movie is, they did an amazing job. They added like tons of jokes and tons of details. And it's set in New York City, which is, I mean, perfect as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> was it was the book specific to New York or was it not? Not really. It was kind of vague. Uh huh. Let's see. Uh, most of my books are set in New York, but that one was a little bit non-specific. Okay, cool. Should I save you any? No, <laughs> I'm just thinking about that cat poop cookie. Oh my gosh. Alice says new shoes is one of her favorites. Oh. How many books do you have, Sarah? Um, oh, thanks, Alice. Uh, maybe a dozen or so, I would say. Oh, wow. I don't have all those. Some of them, yeah, some are picture books. Maybe half and half. Picture books as in not graphic novels, but... Like uh, like 32 page, you know, or 40 page, like a uh, single, I... yeah. Like the sweet, uh, the pencil and me book is a picture book. Oh, wow. Um, I see a lot of people still working maybe if people are finished and they will actually wait first i'm going to ask sarah to raise her hand again will oh, you try raise and raise my hand <laughs> uh, oh, on my on your on my... computer yeah let's just wait it out and now, now stare at the screen a little and see it didn't if I it raise hand see, it lowered it oh, raise you... okay oh. oh there it is it's hard to see because my background is yellow okay oh oh funny so we'll see how that is And if people want to share, they can start raising their hands. But otherwise, Sarah and, and, and I can ch chat while people finish up. I see a lot of people busy. Oh, look, oh. some hands are coming. Sarah, raise your hand again. See it happened again. Oh, I got to raise my hand. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, see, you're getting lost. <laughs> I know. Okay. I, I act like it's a big problem, but it's not. Ooh, I'm but... excited to see everybody's. All right. Well, we'll start. We have um, we have Megan and friend in, and then Leah. And then uh, Marlene and Sarah and some other people. So we'll just start. We'll dig in. I'll um, I'll ask you to unmute, and then we'll share, and then we'll spotlight you. Um, so we'll start with Megan's screen there. Hi, we're Megan and Soren from Singapore. Do you want to say what? You do? I drew a crab for a pet. He drew a crab, and I drew our dog Bruno, who gets some cake, and it works out that he's happy and the party is ruined. Nice. I love it. <laughs> what a great crab pet. <laughs> Thank you, Megan and Soren. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we'll go to Leah next, and then Marlene, and then Sarah and Nina. And as Leah comes on, I'll remind you, everybody, I'll put it in the chat, but um, you can share on social media. You can also uh, upload something. We'll put a, we'll make it into a PDF. Got to wait for Leah to come on screen in order to spotlight them. And then we'll go to Marlene. Actually, maybe yes. we'll go to Marlene. How do I come on screen? Oh, you'll have to. We'll, I'll, we'll wait for you to figure that out. And we'll come to Marlene first. Marlene? Okay. There we go. Hi, Marlene. Okay. Um, you, you put me on the way. <laughs> uh, everybody's <laughs> giving up. Oh, should I come back? Okay, we'll go to Sarah next. You go to Sarah. Okay, there you go. You haven't caught me off guard, that's okay. Um, <laughs> it was nice hearing you say, oh, it's good, Sarah, you're on track and everything. I was taking that to heart. <laughs> oh, all the Sarahs. Yes, so I used to have these rats. Two of them were called P40 and Speedwagon, and P40 is very friendly. He he would really, he would tug on my sleeve because he wanted me to tickle him, flip him on his back and tickle him. But I'm trying to I'm trying to scratch Speedy's face for him. I'm saying you gotta be patient. I'm scratching Speedy's face for him. He's an old man. P40 was much younger than Speedwagon. And so P40 climbs into my lap. I see. Well that works, I guess. Uh, <laughs> with hearts. Yes. Nice. Oh, 
cute rats. Thank you. Oh, okay. L Leah is ready. Then we'll go to Nina after that. Hi. Okay. okay. I did mine digitally, so I don't know if it'll show up. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It shows up great, actually. <laughs> um, The text might not. <laughs> but it says, um, oh, man, they're going to love this. Um, Meow. And then I have my third panel. And then um, a pair of old wet socks. Perfect. <laughs> oh, these... <laughs> okay thanks so much okay we'll go to uh nina again uh, and we'll come to marlene later there's nina hi this was great sarah so much fun i loved watching oh, wow draw out of the corner of my eye so i rescued a kitten a uh, feral cat uh, right around Thanksgiving and she's four months old now and she is a thief and I named her Peanut because she was so tiny when when I got her. She's a little orange kitty. Um, and so anyway, she says, um, Nina will think I'm so sweet. Um, I got you a Galentine's Day present and um, it's the least I could do for um, least I could do for rescuing me. And then I said, um, I love you, Peanut, but stop stealing my lube. Because that's what she's been <laughs> stealing. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Whoa, those are great drawings in five minutes. Those are, like, amazing. Uh, gosh, thank you. She also steals p potatoes, but that wasn't as much fun to draw. <laughs> ah, love it. Her, Nina's a ringer. She's also a children's book illustrator. Oh, yeah. I know Nina. I, I know. <laughs> through social media. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Anyway. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah. Thanks, Nina. We'll go to Gail next, then Nancy, then Krista. Hello, everybody. These are great. Um, thank you, Sarah, for this workshop. My comic is entitled How Tabitha Gets What She Wants. Yeah. And um, when I get home from work at around five, both of my cats, Tabitha is the little one, and Mushi is the big one. Mushi is the um, bigger, e much bigger eater. But Tabitha is the more annoying one. So um, they're waiting for me, just sort of staring at their food bowls. And I, you know, uh, I need some time to get ready. I just got home from work. Well, they don't really care. And Tabitha starts tapping her food bowl. Um, and eventually it gets really annoying. Tap, 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 tap. She, she taps it so much that it travels halfway across the kitchen floor. And so I cave in and I feed them. Nice. Pets have good communication skills. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. This was really fun. Great. Thanks. Sarah, I'm going to try something that I've never mm -hmm. done. And I'm going to try and add you as a spotlight. For um, We'll see if that works. I'm going to go to Nancy. I'm going to replace spotlight. And then I'm going to go to Sarah and add spotlight. Let's see if that works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, get that. Okay. Is that all right? Wow, well, yeah. Is it better to see just the, will there be more real estate for oh. the person? No, you're right. Going? I'll remove you. I'll, I'll remove you. There we go. <laughs> okay. Um, uh oh, there's Nikki. <laughs> and she's digging uh, up the present. And then she runs along the driveway with the present in her mouth. And she's going nuts here in the kitchen right now. And then uh, she's. Because she's a uh, part husky, so the way she talks is she also has this little cry that sounds like, woo, woo. and I got you a Valentine's gift, and she drops something yucky at my feet. And I'm like, oh, I see. It's that dead mole you've been saving, and um, I know it's important to you. And then uh, she says, I love you. And I say, I love you too, Nikki, but no kisses today. Nice. Oh, that's a great present. It's very original. Oh. <laughs> well, she's been carting it around the yard every time we go out, and I am keep dragging her away. Oh, the same one? Oh, yeah, that's the same one. <laughs> oh. Ooh, it must be pretty. Awesome. Pretty right. Thanks, now. Nancy. <laughs> pretty nasty. <laughs> we'll go to Krista next, then Judith, then Alex, then Eli, then Christine. Oops. Wait, what happened? Oh, no, I lost Krista. If they lower their hands super go? fast, track of them. There we go. 
Got me? Okay, great. So I have a pet axolotl, um, wow. which is a kind of salamander. Um, a, a lot of people have, if you have Minecraft, you know. <laughs> but um, so my um, uh, axolotl, her name is Lottie. And so she's peeking behind her little cave saying, peekaboo, I thought you might like this. And she's digging something up. I'm thinking maybe it's a worm or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what do you think? <laughs> and it's a book, How to Make Friends. Uh. <laughs> I, thought, <laughs> I thought you might, I thought you could use some help. <laughs> From her library, <laughs> from her personal library. That's right. Thanks, Lottie. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's cool. I never heard of a pet axolotl. They're very cute. They're always smiling. Oh, right. <sighs> yeah, that's, right. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, when I have done school visits the past couple of years, the kids always want <laughs> me to draw. You know, every year it's different. And that's sort of the, the past couple of years, it's been axolotls. So, so I guess from Minecraft, as you said. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Krista. We'll go to Judith next. And then after that, we'll go to Alex and Eli and Christine. Okay, well, I didn't quite finish, but it's okay. Um, so I had this dog named Woodstock who was huge. And he used to model with for me. He was the best dog model. And he was giant. He was like this Australian something or other, a mix from the from the pound, you know. And he had the most soulful eyes, and he was so great and 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 gentle. But he had this bad habit of catching neighbor cats and shaking them to death. Oh, sorry to be dark here. I loved him, but couldn't yeah. deal with him. And I thought I could take him to lessons and learn how to behave. And we ended up getting him a job putting him out into a great, um, like a vineyard. And he, he ended up being a guard dog for them, which not for people guarding, but to guard against rodents and things. Oh, he wow. ended up with a, he ended up with a meaningful life, I guess, but I really was sad. Um, I was just finishing a picture of me waving goodbye very sadly. Oh. Wow. So, Those are great drawings. Are they wa watercolor or marker or something? No, no, I have the colored pencils and a ballpoint pen. Oh, that's my my go to. Oh, wow. um, when I gave him away to the grape uh, to the vineyard, there was about a whole week when every single night he came the eight miles to find us, and finally they had to chain him up. He found oh us. Oh, came that's through the mountains. You know what I mean? It was so sad. Eight anyway, miles. yeah, now that's the problem with pets. Very often they end up with some kind of heartbreaking other story, but. I'm thinking yeah. about getting another dog, actually. This this event really reminded me oh. of how much I love having a pet. So thank you. This was great. Thanks, Judith. We'll go to Alex next. Oh, what a story. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Sarah and Tom, for this great uh, workshop. Oh, yeah. And it brought me by my pirate parents. I grew up with this uh, little dog. And she was a, a kind of... of a, princess she was uh, quiet and very uh, very shy uh, uh. and those are great she was, times she was barely able to to bark <laughs> <laughs> what a great yeah. so that's it <laughs> so sweet look at that tail wagging in panel one i love that yeah. i know those eyes <laughs> For food. Awesome. Thanks, Alex. Yeah, it's, thanks. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, we'll go to Eli next and then Christine, then Nikki, and Carrie. Hi. Um, this is great. Thank you. Um, everybody's I've been so good. Oh, my chair, my chair just sunk down. Um, I got a and <laughs> now I'm way down here. I got a dog in uh September and I'm kind of getting to know him. And his name's Grady, and he's very quiet. He's a French Bulldog and American Staffordshire Terrier mix. He's like a little pit bull, a teeny little guy. He never barks. He doesn't whine. He doesn't make very much noise. 
but when he needs to go to use the bathroom, he'll just start to stare. And then he gets a little bit closer and he stares and then he gets right up into your face and stares. And then pretty soon, like all you can see is his nose and his mouth. And then that's how I know he needs to go out and use the bathroom. But otherwise I'd never know. <laughs> oh, man. He doesn't go to the door. Time. He doesn't bark. He doesn't <laughs> complain. Um, but yeah, he's a good little guy. Oh, thanks. Uh, those color chair. Intense yellow eyes. And <laughs> he has, yeah, these golden, beautiful golden, uh, really intense eyes mixed with the uh, He's he's totally gray with a little white blaze on his chest. Thanks, Eli. Thanks so much. And if you want, I'll talk to you all about him for the whole hour and show you a thousand pictures <laughs> of him. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's the best. A good, a good reminder to upload these either to social media or to our PDF link, and we'll make a little PDF out of them for everybody. I'll put that in the chat. Go ahead, Christine. We'll go to Christine next. Hi, everyone. Thanks for doing this, Tom and Sarah. This is mine. I have two cats, um, Sammy and Mochi. Sammy's the black one, Mochi's the white one. And yes, uh, Mochi is saying we should get a Valentine's Day gift. Sammy says, uh, why? And Mochi says, it'll be fun. And Sammy says, fine. So they're thinking, what do we both like? Oh, and then that's them waking me up with a shower of kibbles. Kibbles, and then here's me thinking, uh, I'm just glad you're getting along because they do not get along. <laughs> okay, that's me. Oh, those are great cats. I love that mountain of kibbles in the last panel. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. Thanks so much. Uh, we'll go to Nikki next if Nikki's ready. Otherwise, we'll go to Carrie and then Marlene. Uh, here we go. Hi everyone, it's Nikki here. I'm going to mute again because I can hardly breathe. So this will be a silent comic if that's all right. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll... Oh. A cat claw? We can, somebody yeah. can near me. Ah. A cat either giving or receiving card. And lots of love. Oh. Nice. Ah, oh, so much love in everybody's comic. <laughs> <laughs> really nice nikki thank you we'll go to carrie next thanks nikki here we go um so i did a comic of what my my cat would get me for valentine's day so she's to hmm. uh, get valentine's day and then she's going to the store um thank you darling She's picking out a stuffing, and she says, one, please. And then she's really excited, and she gives it to me, and I like it. Oh, man, those are great drawings. Thanks. Definitely. Thank you. Thanks yeah, so much. Thanks. Okay, we'll go to Anita next, then Henry, then Lentil, then Nicole. Let's see. Hey everybody, this was really fun. Uh, let's see, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I did mind about my old cat and she's like, oh, she'll really like this. And she gives me a dead mouse. I don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> she doesn't like my reaction. So she pees on my pillow. <laughs> Oh, oh, very cat like. And then she gives the dead mouse to our other cat <laughs> and realizes she has true love. <laughs> that's it. That was fun. It was totally silly, but yeah, that's the way my old cat was. She would like, if she if she didn't get what she wanted, she'd pee on stuff. Awesome. She, she lived until 16. So she's, she's, she had a good life. Thanks so much, Anita. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Go to Henry next. Here we go. Uh, all right. Hello. My name's Henry, and I drew this comic about. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, my my lamp is on. So. Go closer, it might. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. Can you tell? Wow. It's all right. So in the first panel, right here. Why is it keeping? All right. 
my cat named Clark is thinking about what to get me for it for Valentine's Day. And then he sees this store, which is right here. So he says he knows what he's going to get me. And so he hides himself in a present. And then <laughs> right here, this is me. I'm looking at this present and saying, what is this? So then he pops out. And in the middle of the sentence, he surprises me and I start screaming. <laughs> nice. That's a great title. I like your title. I don't know why it's so hard to see. It's the light. Can we, yeah. can we just like shut that off? <laughs> no, it's really dark. <laughs> Sorry, private lighting issues. <laughs> Thank you. This is yeah, we could see. We could, it was yeah, we could see. It looked great. Thanks. Thanks for showing in. Thanks, Henry. We'll go to lentil next. If lentil's ready, and then Nicole. Let's see. Thanks so much for sharing. Mm -hmm. Um, lentil, are you there? Maybe we'll go to Nicole. Uh, yeah, maybe go to right, Nicole. Go to Nicole. Here we go. Hi, everybody. This was so fun. I really love it, and my dog makes a cameo in a lot of the stuff that I do. So it was nice to have like an actual intention behind it. Um, so <laughs> mine's not a ton of. Um, a ton of words, but um, this is uh, my dog at the uh, kitchen counter. I'm chopping things. And when he wants something, he does this like jump kick um, and he sort of starts low and then he gets like a lot higher. And then he starts to sort of do like, not like bite bite, but like nip bite. And so I, in this moment sort of dropped whatever I was cutting, which would be like carrots or something, which he always thinks are for him. And then I say, fine, it was time to feed you anyway. <laughs> he just gets it Aww. off. So this what is kind of dog is he? Uh, I, he's a West Virginia street dog, but probably okay. some combo of um, of Chihuahua and um, we've heard Basenji, which apparently oh, okay. jumps very high, but we don't really know for oh. sure. Nice. Thanks so much. This was really fun. Yeah. Thanks, Nicole. I love how flat those drawings were too. They're really graphic. We're going to go to Lentil next, and then we'll go to Marlene. Hey, you. Uh, can I screen share? Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are you able to screen share? I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, get, I'll give, give them that option. Hang on a second. Um, there we go. Can we do it? Mm -hmm. I'm in, I think. Okay. Oh, look. Okay. I'm fostering this dog, Bones, and oh. he kind of like squeaks a lot. And so I, I'm like doing some home remodel stuff and I'm working on things, but he always needs something, but it's, you never know what it is. And he just kind of like squeak in the background. A great expression. Um, he just really needs something. <laughs> it's very intense. He's very vocal. It's kind of cute. Um, and so he's like, fine, you leave me no choice. Um, I also joke about him being a grifter because I'm pretty sure he's just traveled on from home to home to home. Um, <laughs> so he heads out and uh, 11 o'clock at night, I get a call from him squeaking at someone else's door. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a partially story. I love those drawings. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Lentil. And yeah. another reminder about our PDFs. If you want to upload and be part of the PDF, it's in the chat. That was Lentil's idea. So always reminded. And also share on social media. We'll go to Marlene next and then we'll go to Rocco. Oops. Did that work? Oh, wait. Oh, you know what? I got to have you unshare. I'll do it. Unless you can do it really fast here. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, go there we go. Yeah. Um, oh. Hi. <laughs> hi, everyone. Uh, yes, here and Tom doing a great job. There we go. Um, I've been a little unwell and uh, having problems breathing. So this is oh. why I've been away for a bit. Uh, I don't know why. I didn't get my turn, but anyway, it's okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, my little story, uh, Sarah and Tom, 
is about I looked at um some footage on uh clients on the spectrum of autism and uh, this is what I came up with uh actually it's Matt and Tweety <laughs> yeah so can you see that yeah it yeah, looks yeah. great can you read it's it to us yeah so um actually have I got the right one yeah um Tweety is a friend of the owl and says to the owl hey look something is going to happen to my friend Matt. He's on the spectrum and he's got a date. And so he's made a date with Alex and let's have a look and see what happens. Um, he's going to come along with a cup of coffee and one for Alex and he's going to pass by. And so um, a Tweety says to the owl, let's wish him best of luck. Then uh, next, some ravens are watching this whole episode. And uh, one of them says, uh oh, he's left it. It's still pretty warm. Um, and it looks good because it's Ethiopian coffee, you mm -hmm. know, from the coffee cup shop. And uh, the two of them are supporting Tweety. Tweet is their friend. Then next, one of them goes down and says, well, I'll have a taste and see what it tastes like. And puts a beak into the tumbler and says, oh, not too bad. I like it. <laughs> and then Matt is very uh, flabbergasted and runs off and says, I knew it. I know she wouldn't come. And this is what happened in Netflix, actually, with some of the Spectrum guys. They become so flabbergasted, so they don't know how to socially interact. And Tweety says to Matt, don't worry, mate, there'll be a next time. And so this is my little story about two, um, a human and a, a pet interacting and so supporting one another. Thank you, Tom and Sarah. Nice. I think you're yeah. our first bird. Thank you. Right. Yeah. I love birds. Oh. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. Marlene. And hope you're feeling better. Soon. Thank you. Yeah, here's Rocco. We'll go to Rocco, then we'll go to Mishka, then Jim, then Edgar. Hey, thank you so much. Uh this has been super fun. Sarah, best of luck at the Academy Awards. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so I have a dog named Kirby. And uh, I chose the Valentine's Day option. So here he is shopping for Valentine's Day gifts. And then he's made his purchase and he's whistling over to me. And he gives me the present. And it turns out to be a box of dog treats. Oh, that's very dog-like. <laughs> awesome. Cute. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll go to yeah. Mishka. Mishka's ready. Otherwise, we'll go to Jim. Mishka. Can you go to the next person? All right, we'll go to Jim, then we'll come to Mishka. Okay, thank you. All right, so um, we don't currently have a pet. Uh, I just imagined a fish there for a moment. And <laughs> the basic idea is that the guy's asleep on the couch, me, I guess, watching TV, not paying attention to the fish, and the fish goes, he ignores me. Um, the fish wants some friends, so he has total fit, splashes the guy, terrifies him. Uh, yells, get me some friends. And so I run off to the uh, the pet store, Petland nice. Co. Wow, it's a vengeful fish. Uh, yeah. Um I don't know, I don't know how we got there, but that's that's the fish. <laughs> Jim's our nonfiction expert. Sometimes as nonfiction artists, we just go a little crazy when we do fiction. Oh, maybe it's nonfiction. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, thanks, Jim. All right, we'll go to Edgar next, and we'll see if Mishka comes back. Well, well, Sarah, first of all, congratulations. And when you go out to Los Angeles to take your next meeting, remember, you don't pronounce it Hollywood. You say Hollywood. 
Okay. So that's just a, a small that. tip. Small tip for you. Also, thank you for the inspiration. I did mine a little differently. I just focused on a, on a, uh, on a, uh, uh, a story. It's called Terry, a dog's love. And Terry, a lively terrier, belonged to neighbors who mostly kept him chained outside. Melinda and Frederick would walk by the neighbor's yard and see Terry excited to see them. They asked the neighbors if they could walk him. It's funny how two damaged people can respond to the unconditional love of a dog. Melinda smiled brightly as she rarely did. Frederick, who had low self-esteem, felt his worth because he walked Terry, fed him, took him to the vet. I saw for myself what Terry did for the two of them. Eventually, the neighbors gave Terry to them, and the three of them lived happily ever after. Terry died about a year and a half ago, but the love remains. So that's my little contribution tonight. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad they saved Terry. Jeez. Uh, yeah, yeah. They gave Terry a good life, and he gave them a good life, too. Nice. All right. Thanks. Uh, thanks for my check. And uh, I'm going to spotlight Sarah until we figure out if Mishka is coming or not. Mishka, are you, are you coming? If so, raise your hand and we'll show you. Otherwise, all right, maybe in the chat they're going to say no or they're going to say yes or who knows. Okay. Um, well, Sarah. Oh, wait, Mishka is now. Yeah, Mishka's we got Mishka. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I share a screen. Sorry, I muted myself so I couldn't answer you. Um, well, yes, you. you're quite sunny. Your oh, yeah, I'm in California. Oh, okay. Oh, it's still late. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, here we go. Um, so I was I was at the doctor with my kids. So this is me trying <laughs> while everybody else was sharing and I'm going to go watch everybody else's later. Um, so I wanted to get my kid a fish when he was seven, but he said, can I have a gecko instead? And my answer, of course, was yes. Soon I learned that get leopard geckos eat only live food. So now oh. we had dozens of pets, not just one. We had to, I can't even read. Okay. We had to feed the mealworms because if they don't move, she won't eat them. So picky. I think one of the questions was like, so I've become the, uh, was what do you have to do? Anyway. Okay. I've become <laughs> the grim reaper. Half of them die. It's so sad. I can't do crickets anymore. They have too much personality. So when they die, I feel like I killed Jiminy. Uh, also, they smell. At yeah. least the dead mealworm, will, mealworms are appreciated by my friend Kristen's brood of hens. Oh. Ooh, that's <laughs> a great one. Thank you. <laughs> we loved Odd Duck. We're big oh. fans of yours. Oh, thanks. And Robot thanks. Dreams and all of them. Thank oh. you so much for coming to this beloved yeah. community. Oh, yeah. All right, we'll bring it back to Sarah. There we go. Um, wow, Sarah. Yay. Thanks. Yeah, so much good stuff. Good stuff. That was really fun. So I I'm there's so much love, and I uh I didn't expect it because I just have this angry cat. So I need to foster a better relationship with my cat. Maybe it's oh. um... no, there was a vindictive, <laughs> oh, there's vindictive fish, but it was fictional. Oh, did we did we see yours? We didn't see yours. It's not, I mean, I'll share it. If you... Oh, but you were talking, or you were doing like the narration, so maybe you didn't get it. I'm gonna put it in, I'll put it on Instagram. Yeah, mine are pretty okay. lousy. I was talking and drawing, but there's a panel of her drilling. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'll share it later on the screen. Anyway, so yeah, have a great time in LA. I don't know when you're going. Um, have a great time in Chicago. Oh, doing thanks. With Sweet Pea? Yeah, who's Sweet Pea in the corner, yeah. Oh, so nice. Um. Yeah, thanks so much. This was so charming and so nice to get so many great stories. I'm going to ask everybody to unmute themselves and um, just give you a little going away applause. Sarah, thank you so much. Oh, sure. thank thanks, you. everybody, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, other Sarah. Thank you. Everybody, thank you. Please, don't, please upload to the PDF if you want. Thank um, you. Uh, how can I help that in you? the chat?
Tom. Hello. Okay. Um, all right, everybody. Thanks. It's in the upload. Hello. Sorry, Christian. Let's see. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. For those yes, asking about yes. that, I'm going to put it in the chat. You're going to have to click on it really fast here. Hang on here. There is it. There you go. Last thing in the chat. Okay. Oh, yeah. Click okay. On, I'll give you a spot. All right. Thanks, everybody. Good night, Sarah. Have a great afternoon.